The challenges facing our teens today mean that more than ever, we need to be there to support them and encourage them. The Dr. Stem Show is here to provide discussions about topics that will help promote healthy relationships, self-image, and success for teens, parents, and the community. Our young people can achieve more in life than they ever dreamed possible. The Dr. Stem Show, hosted by Dr. Stem Malatini, will foster these discussions and encourage your participation. Welcome to the Dr. Stem Show. I'm sure all of you are looking at our set today and wondering why we have this beautiful dog all over the set today. I'm just as inquisitive as you are because today we have as our guest Sheila Duncan who is going to help us understand what the dog is about, what the name, if there is a name, what the name of the dog is. Welcome to the show, Sheila Duncan. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate your time. You know, I'm just wondering because now I can't get to just delve into it and talk about this beautiful dog. Can you tell us a little bit about what the dog is? Does it have a name? It would be my pleasure. This dog right here has a name and his name is Trouble. Trouble came to be back in 2006. Uh, my niece was 12 at the time. And we had a number of cancer losses in my family, her dad, her grandmother, my golden retriever, her dog. And unfortunately, she became very tuned into the word cancer and trouble. <clears throat> so one night, I had the St. Jude telephone on the TV, and she was coloring at my coffee table. And she turned her head when she saw the children who were afflicted with cancer. And before I could turn the TV off, which is what I wanted to do, yes. she looked and she said, oh, I've got to help these children with cancer. And she took a pen, and this is the truth, and she went bloop, and she drew a character, caricature of this dog. Oh. Then she went on the internet and she said, and his name will be Trouble. It was like boom, boom. It was amazing to me. Uh, she then drew a little comic book strip, and it told how Trouble, Trouble had a tough start in life. He was abandoned as a puppy. Um, he was rescued by a nanny, based on Kendra's grandmother. Um, and he went on to rescue other pups. And since that time, I picked up the ball and turned Trouble into a children's book and a plush pup. And he is helping kids all over the world. So her name is Kendra. Yes. Kendra Duncan. And yes. what I like about what you just said is Kendra was 13 or 12. 12, just 12. She was 12 years old. As you all know, the Dr. Stem Show is about empowering, inspiring, and mm -hmm. motivating teenagers. Mm -hmm. And to hear that this was created by a teenager, that's exciting. Yes. And I'm so glad that, you know, you were able to uh, come to the show today and actually help teenagers out there. Because yes. the other thing that I also like about it is it's actually a creation that came out through grief. So oh, it was big a way time. of coping with grief. Yes. That and she came out with this. It's true. And what happened was that uh, that children recognize um, what, however you want to call it, the, the, the healing attributes of this little pup. He's a definite coping mechanism for children going through whatever it is, whether it's bullying, um, parents are being divorced, they're just having a bad day at school. Yeah. They don't feel well. Whatever it happens to be, trouble's right there to help out. And you know, as a therapist, we met at a function that was uh, done, I think it was the week of July 4th. Yes. That, um, that's when I met her at a function, which also tells you where you can use uh, trouble, the dog trouble, for those of you that have teas. It was actually a tea afternoon that we had, and she brought this for the adults that were there. And I'll show you what I did. The first thing that I did when I saw trouble was to hold trouble and just, you know, started holding the teddy bear. Yes. So, and she's soft. A lot of you are wondering, you know, I mean, is it a soft teddy bear? Is is it there's something healing about the way that you know the material that yes. you made it with yes it's true he he's I tell people people say how can you describe the magic of trouble why is it 
that someone will grab trouble out of a box of toys and they always grab trouble. And I tell them it's because he's a little guardian angel disguised as a dog. A little guardian angel disguised as a dog. That is correct. And I, I mean, I, I believe that because I'm sitting here and you will see that, you know, I'm patting mm -hmm. the dog and just feeling comfortable yes. with it. So for the therapists that are out there and you're having trouble with people opening up dialogue or starting to conversate, if it's after grief, after having problems, this is a great way of starting that conversation because as you're patting it, you can't help but talk and start a conversation. It's true. It's true. There are, there are guidance counselors um, who tell me they will have two trouble dogs in their offices and when some, you know, a child or a teen comes in to discuss a problem, yes. they can tell the severity of the problem by if they pick up one dog and hug it like this, not too bad, oftentimes they come in and pick up two. So there's something much bigger than, than me happening here. I, I'm just the, uh, the wing beneath his wings. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the wind beneath the wings. There's no question about it. What mm. is Kendra doing, if I may ask? Well, Kendra now is, you know, she's a teen and she's finding her way. And so she, um, she just actually drew another character for me not too, too long ago. Um, but she's not as involved. It's, I, I saw the effect that he has on children. And so, you know, she's, she's moving forward. She helps me when I need her, uh, and she's been great. But he's, he's definitely become my puppy. Oh, interesting, because the reason why I asked, I work a lot with the teenagers, and as you know, the show is for teenagers, so I'm wondering for them what they would think about having, you know, trouble among them. It depends on what problems they're going through, it's I true. guess. It's true, it's <laughs> true, and you know, you'd be surprised at the people. Uh, we delivered um, <clears throat> 200 trouble dogs to the Walter Reed Army Hospital to injured soldiers, and the reactions of these soldiers were, was just, Life-changing for me because a lot of these guys, Marines, sleep with trouble. Yes. He's a definite coping mechanism, and um, it's been explained to me that he, he brings children, teens, whoever it is, to, to a different plane and allows them to, to perceive, literally, comfort, hope, and joy. So he lights up that area in their brain, which is amazing to me. One of the things that a lot of people don't do is to take some time to relax and calm down mm -hmm. and just quiet the mind. And, and yes. I see that that's how it's been able to, when I, you know, because I bought one the day that we were together and I sit down there and the minute I sit on my couch, I just, you know, put my hand there and I just find myself quieting the mind mm -hmm. from the day's exactly. rest and, and just exactly. relaxing. Yes. So that's another way that you can use it out there, just to quiet the mind. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been an amazing mission. And, um, you know, that's actually on this particular tag that we have, it says sit, stay, hug, no batteries required because there's, you know, there's no cell phones, there's no Wii's, there's no iPads. It's just you and this healing pup. Sit, stay, hug. and hug. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. As mm -hmm. if you're just joining us, we do have Miss Sheila Duncan who is here with us today. And um, I, I wanted to tell you a little bit about her because a lot of you that are watching out there, you might wonder, I know that face. Where did <laughs> I see her from? <laughs> she actually owned a restaurant. And my understanding, it, it, it's called Marty's Restaurant in Ma Marblehead. Maddie's, Maddie's Restaurant yeah, in Marblehead. In, in yep. Marblehead. Mm -hmm. So she used to own that. Um, and she has been you know, traveling as well in the travel industry. Is yes. that owning a travel agency? Years ago, um, before I, it was my dad's restaurant, <clears throat> and before I came to work for him, I worked for a wholesale travel company. Oh. So, yeah, I've been a busy bee. Yes, mm. yes. And she's a life coach. Yes. She's yeah. a life coach. So, have you made the decision to sell her family's more than 50-year-old restaurant? 
uh, she didn't know what to do next, which is a lot of us out there, you know, once you've had a career and you've done what you need to do, some people are discouraged and they don't think that there's hope to do anything else. And this is why it's also an inspiration to all of you adults that there is hope that you certainly can change your career and do something else that is of interest. But what she did was, you know, as she told us that her niece sketched this dog after having multiple losses that they lost a lot, yes. you know, a dog and then, you know, relatives in the family. It w and it was all within a very short period of time, oh, um, yeah. you know, and, and sometimes I, I feel that uh, this little dog is very divinely inspired and sometimes things are just meant to be. Yes. Um, you know, you just have to listen to the, to the cues and I wasn't a very good listener for a long time, so. I've, I've definitely got it with, with this little guy. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's, that's very interesting that you say that because a lot of people say, how do I know what I'm supposed to do? What, how do I know my purpose mm -hmm. and you know, where my life direction is? And that is for our teenagers out there as well as the adults. Yeah. And what you just said is true that sometimes things happen in life just so we can learn a lesson, but mostly so we can start a new path and see what direction we're supposed to take. That's correct. Yeah. And, and sometimes if you don't slow down, <clears throat> Um, you know, what do they say? Uh, God will tickle you with a feather, and if you don't get it, he'll start to throw bricks. And uh, shortly before we sold the restaurant, I took a horrific fall mm -hmm. that forced me to, you know, not work for six months and think about things. And that, all that contributed to making a, it was a major life change, you know, because yes. that restaurant had been in our family for 50, 55 years, I think it was. So it was a major life change, but but now I'm helping kids, truly helping kids globally. So it's, it was the right thing to do. So you mean you worked in that restaurant for 55 years? No, no, no. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> looking pretty good, don't I? I know. I was no. Like, wow. uh, he, he started it in 1946, and I was there for 18 years. So. For 18 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and you were working for your dad? I worked for my dad. What happened was when I went to work for him, um, he was diagnosed with cancer shortly thereafter, mm -hmm. within about a year. So that was the first cancer loss. And then we just got on a complete roll, just kept on rolling with it. And which is interesting because you're also working with people that have cancer, yes. children and adults. Yes. And trouble is being helpful mm -hmm. in healing. And it, he actually started as a coping mechanism for children with cancer. But what I realized was that he, uh, he can help children. He can just help people in a lot of, a lot of different um, modalities. It's, ama it's just amazing. So uh, he's been to Newtown, he's helped Boston Marathon bombing victims. Uh, it's just been really, it's been I'm, really I'm great. I'm getting so much into this that I'm forgetting that we have to take a break. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll <laughs> be right back. As a youth motivational speaker, author, and coach, Dr. Stem understands that in a world where today's youth and parents are jaded and disappointed by institutions and people they perceive as out of touch with the reality of their lives, motivation is a dose that is much needed. It's time to excel. Dr. Stem Malatini is a refreshing change from the typical speaker. Dr. Stem understands the pressures, heartaches, temptations, hopes, and dreams of the generation that is just now coming of age. Students listen in transfixed silence as she speaks with the clarity and confidence of someone who has worked with teens, parents, and teachers for over 20 years. Her high-energy school assembly programs create a defining moment for schools and provide an experience students never forget. To reserve your seat in one of her coaching sessions, purchase her books, or to book her services, email her at drstemmalatini at gmail.com or go to her website at www.drstem.org. Welcome back. As we said earlier on, we have Sheila Duncan, who is here today with the dog Trouble. I love Trouble because, you know what, I'm usually bubbly and noisy during the shows, but today I'm finding myself quieting the mind and relaxing because the dog is here today. And that's what we are getting to understand of some of the things that you might think is just a puppy, it's just a puppet. and what she's just said in the first segment is, 
it's actually is doing more healing and soothing, you know, uh, for grief, cancer, if you're ill or if you're in the hospital, some of you are home watching me today and you're wondering what can I do to relax myself and calm myself down, we have Sheila today who created the little dog trouble. Mm -hmm. This is true. Well, you know, as an example of, of how powerful trouble is, uh, last April after the Newtown horror, yes, oh. um, we, I brought him down in December. <clears throat> we had a truckload of trouble, dogs, books, houses, a hundred of each. Brought him down, uh, gave him a lot of him to the immediate, you know, the families that were, that were um, affected immediately. And then in April went back and did a, uh, an event with yeah. Trouble. Yes. So we brought, there were 55 children and their parents. I got up and talked just like I'm talking now to tell the story of Trouble. Yes. And you could hear, these kids were little. I mean, they were five and six years old and many of them directly affected by this tragedy. And you could hear a pin drop. And they took their troubles, took their little trouble house, they colored their emotions on the houses. Many of them wrote, I love you on the side of the house, okay? So I went around and said, now who, who are you saying I love you to? And they all looked at me and said, trouble. So kids get this puppy immediately. They immediately feel comforted by him and he's always the favorite toy and it's because he's got a little energy going on. And talking about writing, that's why she brought us, um, I know I had put this up in the front, she brought us the house, um, the little house for trouble and it says trouble right in the front and what that house is, is you get to write your emotions, your feelings, and everything all around here. What a way to start communication mm -hmm. or, you know, to start conversation with your teenagers or even for couples. It's true. You can say, you know, it's I true. don't feel like arguing with you, but let me just write how I'm feeling right now. Right. And then you write it out here. And you can do the same with, you know, your children, your teenagers. It's true. Allow them to write their emotions, their feelings, if, you know, instead of, Mm -hmm. um, outbursts, anger yeah. outbursts that yes. they can have. Give right. them this and you can start writing. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways that you can use this. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And the, the reason we, um, what happened with this house is I finally was successful in being able to have trouble made in the USA, which is a whole story in itself. But I knew because the price necessarily had to be increased, um, I needed something of value, something of value to add to it. Yes. And um, I spoke to a friend of mine who's an architect in Marblehead, and I said, I need some, something special for trouble. He said, his name is Robert Zarelli. Uh, he designed my own home, and he said, I already know what to do. That was a Sunday. <clears throat> he went, he drew plans for this house, oh. uh, which is another project that people can put the house together. And it's fabulous. And kids, for example, some children in Newtown, um, they receive little little yellow ducks, you know, from the police when they went back yes. to school. Yes. And where do you think they keep their ducks? Yeah. In the trouble house. In the trouble, trouble house mm -hmm. with trouble. Because they're safe. Yes. See? Yes. yes. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I know you said you were working at the restaurant for 18 years with yes. your father. One of the things that we do on this show is we have a lot of people that are actually raising children. Mm. Now we have grandparents that are yes. raising children that are struggling with how to do that. And part of what we do is we're not only motivating the teenagers, we're not only motivating, you know, their adults. So I'm also intrigued at the age that you started doing this, creating this new business and this yes. new light because when you talk about it I'm seeing a new life in you right oh definitely <laughs> <laughs> oh well so it was uh, in 2007 yes and um, I really you, you have to keep in mind I, I never had children I never married for whatever reason yes. and um, so this I don't know anything about stuffed animals or children's books but I had a meeting um, with a gentleman by the name of Jack Schilling, who, who owns Schilling Toys. Yes. And initially he said, I don't want to have anything to do with a dog named Trouble. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I could just have 10 minutes of your time. Yes. He sat down. I had a little Trouble medallion. 
a coloring book. And he looked at the medallion and he looked at the coloring book. I'll never forget it. And he looked up at me and he said, you know, I think you have something here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, great. So he took me upstairs. We chose this, this fabric. He hooked me up with his manufacturers overseas. And he said, I will hold your hand every step of the way. And he, and he did. And he did. Yes. Yeah. There's a saying, I don't know if you've heard it, it says when the student is ready, the teacher arrives. I have heard it, yes. Love and that it. is exactly, I'm so happy you said that, that's exactly what has happened yes. in this entire journey. Yes. It's been an amazing journey. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I say that because a lot of people have ideas or the light bulb goes on and you know they see the little drawing that mm -hmm. you saw from your niece and then uh, they get afraid to take a risk. Yes. But when you're ready to see it and you pursue it, then even people that don't believe, like this gentleman, will start to say, I think you got something here and exactly. help you along the way. Because, you know, if you believe, and I've said this to people, and it's not that you don't have days when you're fearful yeah. or days when you think, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but if you believe in your gut and in your heart, that it's the right thing to do, that's what gives you the motivation to get up every morning. And believe me, there have and been many, it. many doors shut in my face. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick break okay. again. And I wanna talk about fears because that's another thing okay. that is you know, real big. So we'll take a quick break and okay. we'll be right back. How much difficulty do you have getting your employees or your customers to listen to the solutions you can offer? This may be one of the great frustrations in business. It's time to excel. Dr. Stem now offers solutions with her Soft Skills Leadership Training Program and the Women's Executive Leadership Training Program. To reserve your seat in one of her coaching sessions, purchase her books, or to book her services, email her at drstemmalatini at gmail.com or go to her website at www.drstem.org. Welcome back. We have the creator of the soothing dog, Trouble. Here Comes Trouble is the name of the book that she wrote, and we'll talk about the book in a little while. But before we went on break, we were talking about fear, feeling the fear. And from what I understand, she said it's not that you will not fear and feel any fear, you will. But how do you go on? Well, you know, here's what happened with me, and this is completely the truth. I would have a day when I would think, I don't know, I don't know what else to do. I don't know who else to call. I, I don't know what other step to take. Um, but I had to trust my instinct. And, and many times, then someone would come forward and say, can I help you do such and such? Um, that was one thing that happened. And the um, other thing that happened is because I was so naive, yes about this entire business, I, I actually presented Trouble to Disney Junior last year oh, because I didn't know, and, and I also um, have made a wonderful friendship with a woman at Cartoon Network, because I didn't know I couldn't do it, yes. you see? Yeah. So my, my being so naive, I think, is what has got me to where I am today. Yes. And, um, we're right on the launching pad right now. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and, and what it is is sometimes those roadblocks and you not knowing are actually going around yeah. to the path that you're supposed to take and that's what exactly. I like about it. The other way that I have dealt with fear because I also am into a lot of businesses and a mm -hmm. lot of uh, things that I do including um, producing and hosting this Dr. Stem show, I also have another one that I do on radio. Yes. And I'm a motivational speaker, I speak. But the way that I get over fear is because once you have a goal and you know where you're going, which in this case, she had, you know, Sheila Duncan had one man that said, I think you have something. Yes. Once you hear that one person saying, I mm -hmm. think you have something, know that there will be many more that will say the same thing and buy into your product. It's true. And the rest is history because now you're ready, right? Well, it's true. And, and also, if I would have a day, a bad day, let's, let's say, I would get an email from a parent who would say, I need another trouble dog. We can't find him and my child won't sleep without trouble. Or um, my child's favorite toy for the past, this is true, six years is trouble the dog. Or kids who, 
their trouble has a hole right here because they've just gone like this for five years, uh -huh. but they don't want another one. Yes. You know, so there's a definite magic to trouble, and I am just determined to put him in the arms of everybody who needs him. So if I'm a parent and, and parents are watching out there and I'm going, well, how do I explain to my child, I'm back to that trouble again because the mind will say, well, now why would you name it trouble? How would a parent explain to their child what trouble is and how it's going to help them not to get into trouble? Well, depending <laughs> on the name yeah. or the age of the child, okay. um, many children, you just take this dog and you hand them, hand them this dog and that's the end of it. There's no, you don't have to explain a thing. The kids That's in Newtown are a perfect example. They're, they're, as I say, rounded off to maybe six years old. They got the concept instantly that this is, this is a little guide who's going to help me through the, the tough times in life, who's going to teach me how to pick myself up and dust myself off. Yes. And he will always be there to talk to. The power of intention is what I'm also thinking about. Mm -hmm. If you are a parent and you want your child to be soothed, to be calm, and yes. to be hopeful, and you give it with that mind frame, with yes. that heart that, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this so that you can, you know, relax with it, yes. the child will take it as, as that as well. Oh, there's no question. Yes. And as I said, we, we have this study, the second study actually, mm -hmm. The first study was a scientific study, research yes. study, that was a, uh, a, a survey in asking children of all ages, adults as well, how does trouble make you feel? Do you take trouble with you? Asking the same questions different ways. And that survey, you know, the pre preliminary results proved that trouble elicits hope, comfort, and joy, and other things too, but all positive things in children. Now the feedback that we're getting from people is telling us we're going to start another study that is going to prove that trouble does change children's perceptions and trouble allows them to, to be, for example, to be yes. compassionate. Yes. You know, yes. Um, children will say to me, they'll receive a trouble, let's say for Christmas. And they, if I see them at an ice cream store or whatever, they'll say, can you give trouble to Freddie, who's in my class, who's oh. on crutches? Um, I had a little boy who won a contest. Yeah. He won a trouble. And I said, OK, you tell me who you want me to send your trouble gift to. And he said, and this could bring you to tears, he said, could you send trouble to a soldier in Iraq? Oh, wow. And I did. And wow. that soldier got in touch with me yes. and said she had lost her mother. And her bunkmate had lost her mother, and could I send her a trouble too? So, mm. trouble yeah. is getting, he's really getting around. Yes. Yeah. Yes, as mm -hmm. a sense of comfort. You know, that's so interesting because then I'm, I'm stuck with the word comfort, hope, joy. Yes, exactly. That comfort, you know, that trouble brings. And that's why, um, to get back to Trouble's house, yeah. the gentleman who Bob Zarelli designed the house, and the gentleman who made the house, you know, who, who worked it out, took his design and worked it out, uh, uh, Superior Packaging, um, they worked, because I wanted to bring this house to Newtown, they yes. worked overnight, three days in a row, to, to crank out a hundred of these houses, and they wrote hope on the side of the house. Each house says hope, trouble, has an American flag, and made in the USA. So these guys I'm, were great. I'm, I'm laughing because I don't think I have even told you this. My full name is Stembile, and mm -hmm. Stembile means hope. I did not know that. I See? know you didn't. No, so I didn't. So as I'm turning around and I'm looking yes. at it and I'm going, oh, wow. Right. You know, and that's actually my name. It's, I didn't you know. know. Bring hope, yeah. See, and trouble's all about hope, you yes. know, and he's yes. all about yes. bad things, yep. And They're going to happen in life, but you have to have hope. Yeah, and, and, and this show is about hope. Mm -hmm. It's about hope because we do have a lot of our teenagers out there, a lot of our parents, teachers that also have had a lot of losses. Yes. And they don't know how to cope. And at the, as a result, we get to see the outbursts, the behaviors, yes. the negativity that people talk about. Mm -hmm. But what's behind it is what we're trying to get into this show so that we can also say there's more to what you are seeing when they acting out. Of course, of course. And, and this little dog allows 
um, whoever it is, yes. to feel safe, to communicate. Um, they might communicate to him first, yes. okay, but then they will open up. I've seen it time and time and time again. Communication, that's, that's key. That's key because then, you know what, for those teenagers that will be watching out, they, if people don't know what's going on with you, mm -hmm. even parents, if they don't know and all they can see or hear is you yelling, screaming, getting upset or not talking, then they're not going to be able to help you. It's, it's they're the not truth. going to know what to do. So it, it's really, really interesting, you know, I mean, and important for us to be able to do this. A lot of people will want to know how do we get trouble? Where can they buy trouble? Well, trouble, we sell trouble on our website and um, we sell him for $39.95, which, uh, you know, I struggled with the price, but rather than um, he cost us our cost for trouble was three times four times what it was to purchase mm -hmm. him overseas so we did some research and rather than triple our car our actual cost uh, we doubled it and that's it and uh, so it's a fair honest price and people can purchase it, him on our website which is www.troublethedog.net um, and we also sell our, our He Has Trouble book in our house. And as a matter of fact, I just made a little emergency delivery of some trouble last night, and that happens to me all the all time. All the time. I can't deliver all the time, but. <laughs> <laughs> her book, her book, it's called Here's Trouble. And uh, as she said, she's currently selling those um, from her house right now. So if you go to their website, which is www trouble the trouble dog, the dog dot net. Mm -hmm. net we'll yes. have it on our screen as well we'll have that on our screen so that you'll be able to uh, order the books or order the dog itself yes. because as we said it's a great way to start communication it's a great way to give to kids so that they can start when they're young to know how to calm themselves to relax to be peaceful is one of the mm -hmm. things that when we go to teenagers and we start to say, well, you need to relax. If they never learned how to relax in the first place, it's, it's going to be hard. It's true. Yeah, so that's what I like about this, that they can start at a young age as yes. well to start to relax. Thank you. But it's never too late. No, and, and you know, something <laughs> else interesting. Yeah. When, when I was in Newtown, I signed all the books personally. Yes. And just last week, uh, a mother contacted me, and she said, my daughter is still running up to companies saying, look what the trouble lady wrote just for me. Oh. So if someone sends me a note and yes. says, can you write an uplifting note to whoever yes. it is, I do that all the time. Yes, mm -hmm. so what's next for trouble? Well, it's funny you, funny you bring that up. <laughs> My goal for trouble yes. is, and I know this is lofty, but remember, I... I but there's no lofty goals, okay. no lofty dreams. That's what trouble is. Trouble about. allows kids to hope, believe, and dream, yes. and my hope and I will this will happen as long as there's a breath yes. left in my body yes. you got that already yes. right yes um, is that I ultimately want trouble to be a character uh, a global symbol of hope um, if you picture a character like Hello Kitty it's adorable but yes. there's no message there's there's nothing to make a child feel better yes, um, yes. I feel that with this face of his this iconic look that he has I feel that trouble has the ability to be a character of that magnitude, and um, and I got f powerful feedback when I when I presented him to Disney Junior. So I think we're on the road, and I think you're going to be hearing a lot more about trouble these days. I, I have a feeling that it will be mm -hmm. soon. Thank you. Since that we are be... now out there. I, we're out there. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you. I, I'm holding a label here that says, when trouble comes, you're never alone. So when you have the dog trouble with you, you're never alone. It's, that's a, a really great saying. You Thank heard you. it from the horse's mouth. She said she wants to see trouble coming global and mm -hmm. being a global symbol of hope. Yes. We wish that and some more to you. Thank you very much. I just want to say thank you so much for thank coming you. to the it show today. It was my today. pleasure. Yes. And thank you for having me. It was it was wonderful. Anytime. Don't forget to get trouble and the book. Go to her website www. Trouble the dog dot trouble net. Trouble the dog dot net. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank you for watching the Dr. Stem show.